everyone, this is Emily Collins here. So today we're going to be doing a kind of fun, no knees flow, which is going to be no, nothing with low lunges, without knee on the ground, none of that. We're just putting a lot of weight on one knee. I've had a lot of requests for that lately from people who maybe have sensitive knees. Um, so I wanted to add this as just a kind of nice, easy flow that you could get moving and kind of feel that energy pumping without having to kind of worry about you know, taking different variations and avoiding the knee and whatnot. So we're going to get started just sitting in a comfortable position. Just taking big, easy breaths. Big inhale. Big open mouth exhale. And two more, just like that big inhale. Big open mouth exhale. One more big inhale. Big open mouth exhale. Just settling inward here. Maybe rocking a little bit side to side. Just feeling the center point, the center balance. Anywhere where you're just feeling really centered and comfortable here. Just noticing the way your body would sway side to side. Just noticing anything that's standing out with how you feel today. Just letting those emotions and sensations come, noticing them, and then just passing right by. Coming back to a centered point, eventually stopping and rocking if you are rocking and reaching those hands all overhead. Bring your palms to touch. Big inhale. Slow exhale, guiding those hands slowly down to center. One more big inhale here. Big open mouth exhale. We gently open our eyes, reaching our hands all the way to the sky and inhale. Exhale, reaching over to the right. So here, really playing with anything that feels good. Maybe the hand comes down, maybe the forearm. Maybe just playing with any little motions with your top arm here. If you want to just let it go, maybe just releasing downward. Maybe opening up and half binding, starting to wake up those shoulders a little bit. Anything that feels good here. And slowly now guiding all the way back up. The big exhale all the way to the other side. Same thing here, maybe a hand comes down, maybe a forearm. Just really noticing if this side's different and not really judging. Again, maybe resting that arm down. Rotating is open for a little half bind there. Not really forcing into anything that doesn't feel good. And inhaling all the way back to center, big overhead. And a big exhale, coming forward. And just rocking it that way, really nice and easy. Anything that feels really good, maybe moving, or maybe just finding stillness. Just big, easy breaths here. And slowly inhaling all the way up. Exhale, pulling those hands behind you and lifting your chest slightly. Maybe those hips come up too if that feels good, or just keeping them planted. And one more time, inhaling, coming all the way up, wrapping those hands behind your neck, inhaling to fold out. Exhale as you fold in. Two more times, inhaling, fold out. Exhale as you fold in. One more time, inhaling, fold out. Exhale, fold in. And this time we're going to rock over our shins, coming up to all fours. If this too is a little uncomfortable on your knees, feel free to just push up straight to the down dog and just still playing with these same motions. So from here, or just placing the blanket under your knees. So from here, just starting to find little easy motions here that feel really good. Maybe dropping that neck, rotating through your spine a little bit. Maybe tucking those back toes so you can start to wake up your arches a little bit, rocking back and forth if that feels good. Just nice, easy movements here. And eventually tucking those back to the lift, you know, so you coming all the way up to your first down dog here. So spending some extra time here, bending one leg or the other. Really bring into the space of your body here. Maybe rocking your hips side to side, or just really feeling any sensations, any little movements that are needed. Maybe pushing extra through your hands. You're rocking forward a little bit. And inhale, slowly rocking all the way forward into your high point. Maybe shifting your hands slightly forward, your feet slightly back. 
just hanging out here, Cobra. See what you can do to make this a little easier. Maybe rotate your biceps forward or any little motion here that feels good. Or just easy rocking side to side or forward back. Maybe little circles if you want to have some rotations here. And eventually shifting all the way back to your down dog. And rolling all the way forward once more. And shifting all the way back. Rolling forward all the way once more. And this time lowering all the way down. Just come into your belly here. Keeping your hands planted underneath your shoulders. Just rocking out side to side. Starting to wake up your mid spine a little bit here. Maybe starting to push up a little higher into a full cobra. Keeping your hips still on the ground. Just playing with any motions. Maybe looking over one shoulder or the other if that feels good. And lower back down, talking those back toes, and just lifting all the way back up into your down dog here. Inhaling that right leg all the way up the sky, big opening here. Just any little motions opening your hips that feel good. And then exhale, slowly guiding that foot all the way forward, making some space by maybe coming up on your tips of your fingers a little bit there, and then just hanging out here for a breath. Starting to wake up into your hips and into your leg a little bit. Inhale, lifting the right leg to the right arm to the sky. Exhale, folding it down and exchange. Inhale, just lift that left arm. And exhale, folding it back down. And then slightly pulling those back toes in, just folding on that front leg as far as is comfortable. You can have a big bend in that front knee if that feels better. Just big, easy breathing here. And bending that front knee and lifting your right hand to the sky. Little twist there. And then planting that right hand and lifting the left. Maybe keeping that front leg bent or starting to straighten and come into a little triangle pose here. Big, easy breath. And slowly bending it, stepping it back to your high plank and hanging out here for a breath. If you feel good dropping both knees at the same time, maybe doing that. We're slowly lowering down through your chaturanga. Inhale as you lift up. Exhale as you tuck back your toes, lifting the sky. Lifting those hips to the sky. Inhale that right foot all the way to the sky, opening up here. Big, easy movements, anything that feels good in the hip. And exhale, lean it a step it through. Maybe lifting that left hand, make space for your foot there for a second. Just hanging out here for a breath. Really breathe into the space of your hips, anything that feels good. Inhale that left arm all the way to the sky. Exhale, plant it back down. Inhale that right arm all the way to the sky. And exhale, plant it back down. Then pulling that back foot ever and so slightly folding over that front foot. Again, maybe find a little movement here. Or just finding stillness, whatever feels good. Big bend in the knees if there's too much tension. And stepping it back to that low lunge, keeping that front leg bent as you lift that left arm to the sky. Simple twist here. Then planting back down, lifting that right, maybe planting that back foot and straightening that front leg as you come into triangle pose or just keeping it bent, whatever feels better here. Planting that foot back down, stepping it back to your high plank and hanging out here for a breath. Again, maybe dropping those knees first or going through your little chaturanga here. Inhale for your up dog. Exhale, pushing it back down, dog. Just big, easy breaths here. Coming back to your breath a little bit. Inhale, rising up on those back toes. Exhale, shifting back down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, shifting back down. Inhale, rising up once more. Exhale, shift you back down. Inhale as you gaze forward, exhale as you bend those knees and walk to the very tippy top of your mat. Just hanging out here for a breath, maybe grabbing opposite elbows for a rag doll, or just releasing everything down, whatever feels better. Just big, easy breaths here. Inhale, halfway lift flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up one root of time, reaching those hands to the sky. Exhale, bring those hands to heart center. Just coming back to your breath here for a moment. 
good, maybe finding some little motion side to side, just trying to come back to the feeling that gentle sway. And in these swing motions, just slowly coming back to a center point. Inhale, reach those hands all the way to the sky. Exhale, planting those hands behind your neck. Inhale, extending backward. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, extending back. Exhale, all the way forward. Inhale, extending back once more. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, reaching those hands to the sky, interlacing those fingers. And exhale, folding over to the right a little bit. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, folding over to the left. Inhale, back to center. And then big swan dive forward, fold forward all the way over. Just rocking it that side to side once more. Maybe starting to walk those hands all the way over to the right. Feeling a little side stretch there. Then maybe starting to walk all the way over to the left. Same thing here. Nice little easy side stretch feeling in your calves. And all the way back to center. Just rocking it out nice and easy. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Stepping it back to your high plank. Nice and easy here. Then lowering down once more all the way to your belly. And then lifting up for a low cobra. Just playing around with little movements here to feel into your mid spine. And then all the way up if that feels better. Maybe playing into some low spine movements, looking over one shoulder or the other. And exhale, coming all the way back down, hooking those toes, lifting those hips, coming back into your down dog here. Just big, easy breaths. Again, bending one knee or the other. Anything that feels really good. And inhale, lifting that right leg all the way to the sky again. Maybe opening up those hips once more. And exhale, knee to the step it through the low lunge. Hanging out here for a breath. Inhale, that right arm to the sky. Exhale, planting it back down. Inhale, the left all the way up. Exhale, planting it down. And then stepping that back foot in ever so slightly once more, folding over that front leg. Nice, easy movements here. And then slowly stepping that foot back, coming back through your low lunge, you're rising all the way up into your high crescent. Holding for breath here. Anything that feels good with those hands, maybe coming to our center, maybe supporting yourself, just keeping those hands on your hips. Anything that feels really good, maybe just extra loose, playing with a little balance challenge by rocking those arms side to side. Just really playing with whatever feels good. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, shifting back down. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, shifting back down. One more time, inhale, rising up. Exhale, shifting back down and slowly opening up into your warrior two. Front heel in line with that back arch. You're using that of that front hand. Again, maybe relaxing those arms down just to find a little bit more easiness in your body before you're eventually coming back out and gazing over that front hand. Inhale, rising all the way up. Exhale, folding. Again, inhale, rising up. Exhale, folding down. One more time, inhale, rising up. Exhale, folding down, then reversing your warrior, sliding back in, down your back leg. And then all the way forward, extend the side angle here. Again, any option with this front arm, maybe just resting it down or playing with little shoulder circles or wrapping it around for a half bind. Just hanging out for a breath here. Nowhere else to go, just breathing. Eventually straightening all the way back out to your warrior two. Straighten that front leg and folding forward into that triangle pose once more. If that doesn't feel good there, maybe keeping the hand on the calf. Anywhere that feels really good here. Then slowly rising up and reversing your triangle. And then cartwheeling those hands to the ground, stepping it back to your high plank. And then going once more through a little chatter chaturanga here, just pushing it back to your down dog. Always options to skip here. Breathing into the space of your body. Releasing any tension in those calves. And inhale, lifting that left leg all the way to the sky, opening up here. 
as her maid is stabbed at her low lunch once more. Inhale that left hand to the sky. Exhale, pull your knee back down. Inhale the right hand to the sky. Exhale, pull your knee back down. Then ever so slightly wiggling that back foot as you straighten over that front leg. Just breathing into the space here. Slowly stepping that back foot back and lifting up as you engage all the way upward into your high crescent. Hang out for a breath here. Again, maybe any place for these hands to go that feels stable and supportive for you. Just breathing into the space. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, shifting back down. Inhale, rising up once more. Exhale, shifting back down. Inhale, rising up one last time. Exhale, shifting back down. This time straight open into your warrior two here. Again, maybe release those arms down to release a little bit, letting your body find a little bit more ease. Eventually extending those arms outward and gazing out of that front hand. Just big, easy breaths here. Inhale, extending up. Exhale, folding back down. Once more, inhale up. Exhale, back down. Inhale, one last time up. Exhale, extending back down and inhale as you reach back, reversing your warrior. And then slowly folding forward into your extended side angle. Again, any option here, maybe playing with shoulder movements or half binding or just resting that hand down. Whatever feels best for you. And slowly rising back up to your warrior two, straightening that front leg and shifting forward to your triangle pose. Maybe that hand's planted or resting on any part of your leg. Avoiding the knee there a little bit. Just breathing into the space here. And slowly rising, reversing that triangle, lift that left hand in the sky. And exhale, cartwheeling those hands to the ground, stepping it back to your high plank. Hanging out for a breath here. And as you lift that right hand to the sky, exhale, blending it back down. Inhale, lifting that left hand to the sky, stack side plank here. Exhale, blending it back down. Kind of dropping those knees both together if that feels good here. Just coming back and do a little neutral tabletop pose. Just rocking it out here, any little motions that feel good. Again, maybe tucking those back toes and waking up those arches a little bit more. Just really breathing into that space of your body. We're gonna inhale, reach that right hand all the way to the sky. And exhale, shifting that shoulder all the way to the ground as you thread the needle. Maybe the left hand stays where it is or starts to walk forward. If this feels like too much for your knees, feel free to come out of it. Another variation, if this doesn't feel good, is just coming forward all the way into your belly and lowering down like this. You get the same sensation of stretch. So two different options there, depending on what feels good on your knees. Just big, easy breaths, filling all the way up. And then exhale, you let it all go. Wiggling that left hand all the way back, reaching that right hand to the sky, big release. And then pulling it back down, switching it out, reaching that left hand to the sky. And then exhale, threading the needle on the side. Same thing here, if it feels better to reach forward onto your belly, feel free to play with that option instead. Just big, easy breaths here. Inhale, filling all the way up. And exhale, letting it go. Just sinking into the mat, sinking into your shoulder. And then bring this right hand all the way back, big release, pulling this left hand all the way to the sky. And exhale, plant it back down. Just wiggling it out a little bit here. Any little mat last motions that feel good. We're tucking those back toes, lifting those hips, coming all the way back. 
down dog here. This is big, easy for us. Inhale all the way up on your back toes. Exhale, sinking back down. Inhale, rising back up. Exhale, sinking back down. Inhale, once more, rising back up. Exhale, sinking back down. Inhale, as you gaze forward and exhale, as you bend those knees and slowly again, walking the very tippy top of your mat. Just rocking it side to side here. You start to walk that right hand all the way over to the left and lift that left hand to the sky. A little twist, big bend in the knees if there's too much tension. Also, variation, wrap that back arm around a little half bind. And then planting that left hand, rocking it out for a little release, and then walking that left hand all the way over to the right, lifting that right hand to the sky. Same thing with the side. Big bend in lives if there's too much tension. And then big, really swinging it out side to side. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. One right turn, reaching those hands to the sky. And then point those hands behind your head. Inhale as you push your head back. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale as you push back. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale, push back once more. Exhale, fold forward. Big release, inhale those hands to the sky. Then exhale, pointing those hands right behind your, your back here. And just start to shift a little bit back. Also variation for a little uh, half prayer there, placing your hands together if that feels good. Whatever feels really good, supportive in your spine. Maybe dropping that head back a little bit if that feels good. Then eventually coming all the way forward and just rocking it out side to side. Just releasing those hands forward, just coming to a really neutral pose here. Finding that center point and just balancing there for a moment. And as you reach those hands to the sky once more, it's a big forward fold over the legs here. Rocking it out nice and easy. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And start to come all the way down here. Just come into a little squat. Maybe pulling those hands all the way forward and dropping the head here. And then slowly start to put those hands all the way back behind and sitting all the way back. Extending those legs forward. Maybe open if that feels good. Or maybe put your feet together in a little butterfly pose. Whatever feels really good for you here. As you inhale, lifting up. Exhale, pulling those hands behind you. Lifting your chest. Move your hips a little bit. And then slowly starting to come forward, just wrapping over whatever variation of a fold you have. Just big, easy breaths here. And feel free to play with a couple variations. If you realize one's not doing the trick for you, maybe open into a straddle. You can play reaching to one side or the other, anything that feels really good. Big, easy breaths here. Just slowly rising up, pulling those legs together, and then gently rocking back onto your spine, maybe grabbing onto your knees here, just letting your legs pull away, a little spinal release there. Then dropping those feet to the ground, we're gonna place our hands right next to our hips here, and just slowly start to lift up, coming to a bridge pose. Just engaging here, maybe binding those hands underneath if that's in your practice or if that feels good. Maybe wiggling those shoulders underneath you a little bit. Really engaging upward here. Just holding for a couple breaths. And then slowly lowering it back down, pulling those knees in towards center, just rocking it out a little bit. Releasing that left leg to the, to the ground, pulling that right knee all the way back in towards your right armpit. Big squeeze here. Then exhale, shifting it all the way over to the left, coming to a little supine twist here. Maybe open that right arm out to, this, to the right and gazing forward or out of your right arm. Whatever feels really easy and comfortable here. Maybe placing your left hand down to your leg for a little added support there. And 
and just big, easy breaths here. Slowly pulling that right knee all the way back in towards your right armpit, big squeeze there. And then switching it out, pulling that left knee in the next change. Big squeeze before slowly shifting it over all the way to the right here and opening that left arm out to the side. Again, maybe gazing upward or over to the left, whatever feels good here. Just breathing into the space of your body, big inhales. Nice, easy exhales. Just relaxing downward, anything that feels really good here. Slowly starting to pull that left knee all the way in towards your left armpit, big squeeze there. And just pulling both knees in and rocking it out side to side. At this point in the practice, taking any last pose that feels really good for you, maybe it's happy baby or plow pose or shoulder stand or anything that's really calling for you right now that's going to feel really good. Just taking a few breaths to really listen to your body here. And eventually taking a really big squeeze, inhaling all the way to the top. And just exhale, releasing all the way out into your Shavasana. Just allowing your full body to relax downward, everything melting into the mat or the floor. Just letting your breath be easy. Staying here as long as you want. Whenever you're ready to start coming out of it, just let yourself to fall to one side in a few pose. Eventually rising all the way up to a seated position with your eyes still closed. Nice and easy. Whatever feels really good here. Settling in one more time, really tuning into how your body's feeling. Taking a big inhale as you reach those hands overhead, bringing your palms to touch, and slow exhale, guiding those hands all the way down to your center. A big inhale here. Big open mouth exhale. Another big inhale. Nice open mouth exhale. One more big inhale all the way to the top. Nice open mouth exhale. And just taking a few more breaths. No control over your breath. Just staying easy and gentle with yourself. And whenever you're ready to release, just drop in those hands to knees, letting your eyes fall open. And namaste, thank you. Hope you're feeling good and your knees are feeling good as well. And I'll see you next time.